Question 2 says, in figure 6.14, this figure that you see here, lines x, y and m, n intersect at O. So let me highlight these two lines for you. x, y is this line and m, n is this line. These two lines intersect at this point O. Also, if angle P, O, Y is equal to 90 degrees, so this angle P, O, Y, uh, this is 90 degrees. And A is to B is 2 is to 3. So what is A is to B? So A is this angle, is to this angle. The, the ratio of the measures of these two angles is 2 is to 3. Using this, we have to find angle C, this angle here. So this is the question. So the way we will solve this is we will first find the measures of angle A and angle B. And once we have angle B, we can find angle C because we can see that angle B and angle C form a linear pair of angles because they are on the line M, N. So let's start with finding angle A and angle B. So I want you to observe uh, this angle, angle X, O, P, this angle. What do you think is the measure of this whole angle? Well, angle X, O, P forms a linear pair with angle P, O, Y and angle P, O, Y we know it is 90 degree. So from here, we can find angle X, O, P. So let's write this angle X, O, P plus angle P, O, Y. This is equal to, this must be equal to 180 degree because these two angles form a linear pair. Now, we know that angle POY is 90 degrees. So, this means that angle XOP plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And from here, we get angle XOP as 180 degrees minus 90 degrees or 90 degrees. So, we get this interesting conclusion that angle XOP is 90 degrees, but angle XOP is nothing but the sum of A and B. So let me highlight it uh, using darker color. So this angle A plus this angle B, the sum of uh, these two angles is angle XOP. Uh, and this means that A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. We also know that A is to B uh, is 2 is to 3. This is given to us. Uh, this is given as a fact to us. So from the fact that A plus B is 90 degree and from the fact that A is to B is 2 is to 3, we can easily find uh, A and B separately. And to do that, we observe that because A is to B is 2 is to 3, uh, this means that and the sum, the sum of A and B is 90 degree. So A must be 2 by 2 plus 3 or 5 of 90 degrees. So A must be 2 by 5 into 90. How much is this? 90 by 5 is 18. 18 into 2 is 36. So A must be 36 degrees. And now B is uh, straightforward to find. So B will be 90 minus 36 because A plus B is 90. So B is 90 minus A or 90 minus 36 or 54 degrees. So we have obtained the values of A and B separately. A is 36 degrees and B is 54 degrees. Now finally we can find the value of or the measure of angle C uh, because B plus C must be equal to 180 degrees because this is a uh, these two angles are a linear pair of angles because both of them are on the line M N. So B plus C is 180 degrees and this means that C is 180 degrees minus B and we know the measure of B so 180 degrees minus 54 degrees or 126 degrees. So the measure of angle C is 126 degrees. So the answer to this question is that C is 126 degrees and that uh, so completes question 2 of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.